Hello everyone! So today we're going to be playing Zombinis! An old game. It's one of those reminisking episodes where I play old games that I remember and probably influence my life in a positive way. So I'd already named the profile Blue Guard because this way he doesn't know the heck out of me later on. So let's introduce the game by watching the intro. Not too long ago, Zumbinis enjoyed the good life. Yay! Though they all looked slightly different, different eyes, noses, hair, feet, such differences meant nothing to the Zumbinis. Except for the color of their nose. And so they lived happily on Zumbini Isle, making small, useful products which were prized the world over. What the heck can they make? The Zumbinis had a sense of fulfillment and inner peace, not to mention healthy bank accounts. What bank then accounts? one day, who should show up but the bloke? I like to imagine that they're orcs. The bloats offered to help the Zumbinis grow their businesses. Expand their trade routes. Using the internet. And improve their quality of life. Healthcare. Being trusting sorts, the Zumbinis agree. No, oh, they can't even do the Obamacare stuff. But before long, the bloats had taken over everything. I knew Stealing it. profits, canceling holidays, piling on work. The Zumbinis were getting pretty stressed out. Well, you can push them only so far before they take matters into their own hands. Uh, so to speak. Viva Revolution. <laughs> so they decided to escape and build a new home in a distant land. You can't always run away from your problems. Oh my. Anyways, so that's where we're at. The Zabine is a turn run away to get away from their um I like to imagine it as slave labor. The entire game is for kids, after all, so they're not going to say that they were slaves. But you know what's really going on. As an adult, you know what's going on. But yeah, this is a kid's game, so... Apparently, they're saying that... Yeah, see with the bars and everything? They were prisoners. They were slaves. You know as an adult. So, how this works is you have to... This, this is for kids. They try to make it fun. Obviously. So. You have, you could design each of your individual zoom beanies. It technically does affect gameplay depending on how you design them. But the main thing is once you have a hairstyle and play it. Oh, it's, that's a randomized button. Uh, there we go. Once you have one Zabini out, you see how the name's gone? It won't actually let me, yeah. It won't let you have someone with the same exact characteristics as that one Zabini. They all have to be unique. Each and every single one. And if you're wondering how many we have to get across, well, let's just say it's 400. So yeah. It's no, it's no big pushover. It's 400 of these guys, and I believe it's like 16 spots on here that you have to take across. So since we can't do this guy, what I used to do as a kid was just move over one over, keep going through these 400 names until I found a name that I liked, and then submit him. Then keep doing that until. I had enough. Or you could just go bloop for everything, and everything will just randomly generate for you. 
so you don't have to think about it. As a kid, I did agent every single unique Zumbini. I did not realize that this button down there was to just randomize all. So yeah. Um, let's see if there's anything we can click on, because I know in some other areas you can click on stuff and it does random stuff, but I don't see anything. Oh well. Let's get to the next stage, now that we have our okay. squad here. After Burn. days tossed about by a stormy sea, the Zumbinis reach the shore of a peculiar land. Was it New York? Alright, so you're looking at this as like a six year old child and saying, What is this? I have no idea what's going on. Can I click on this stuff? No. That's uh, let down. So. You're wondering, like, what? What can I do? What's What's this? What's What's anything? What's everything? I have no idea. So the main aspect of this is just grab one of the zubinis, fling them around, or just try to bring them to the other side, realizing that you can't. But you wish you can bring them to the other side. So you just gotta let them go to the side on their own. <laughs> oh. He's not the one for right there. That means he's on the other side. So what this little puzzle is, it game looks at what features your Zubini has, and only one of the paths he would be allowed to go on based on some sort of feature. I don't even know what the feature is. The these guys had decided that there is some feature that they're only gonna let across and we gotta find out what that is you could say that the mountain guys the mountain faces guys are allergic to some feature of that zoomini and we just have to figure out what it is considering I gave everyone different the same nose to start off and then everyone else was given different noses just about it's probably noses Alright. So what happens here if we lose all these little sticks? It actually anyone on this side gets back set back to the starting base. Everyone else can carry on still to the next stage. But you just have to do a little bit of extra work. I'm now thinking it's glasses. And I think the game considers the one I to be glasses for this portion. Or maybe it's just anyone's beady eyes. It might just be that. Anyone with just beady eyes. And these guys match. Put right, them up there. So. Now we're just left with these two. So now we have the these sleepy eyed guys. Do they go up top or they go on the bottom? So let's try the bottom first. Yeah I figured it was just beat eyes on the bottom. There were a lot of beady eyes. How fortunate for Zumbinis that you are their guide. I know. Imagine hearing that when some other kid just failed in school. These stone guards have their rules, so do proceed with skill. Zumbini's one guard won't allow. The other guard surely will. I did not realize that they give tips in the loading screen. The floodgates are opened, it seems. What did we do to deserve this? Deserve what? Deserve what? To allow people through your land? 
What even are you guys? Um, so the aspect with this is, these zoomies have to take one of these four paths. So it's kind of like the last one, except these guys are not allergic. They're just kind of like rude. Try the other side. Yeah, they just don't want to let them pass. That's all I can think. They're just being rude. Sorry. So, kind of like the last one, you only have so many tries, and then it cuts you off. Not all the round levels are like this. They all have different play styles. Or different, um... Things that make you fail or succeed. Because right now, if we just fail completely, all the zoomies that we haven't even tried get cut off. In other levels, it could be individual based. Just individual beanies would not succeed or get through. But we'll get to that when we get there. So, I don't know what the current design scheme is. Let's try beady eyes over here. Not this oh. side. This guy evidently lets the guys with the wheels through. And that's the only thing that's the same. But we just did this guy. So it's not beady eyes, she like. It's probably uh, the nose. And. We, yeah, it probably is the nose. So. Hello. Send everyone with the same nose over here. Enjoy and the wheels. Because he's definitely letting people okay. put wheels across. Uh. What about this? Nope. Nope. What about this? Enjoy right. yourself. He's definitely letting everyone with the wheels through. Well, you're so he's okay. letting blue nose and purple nose through. I don't think this would work on the bottom, so let's try him up top. Well, you're okay. Oh. What goes up must roll down. Alright. And she would do it on both sides, so if this lady let us through because she already blocked us off on the other side you would know that she would block you off on the other side as well so that helps you narrow down routes that they can take have a good time it's why you don't need to keep trying like every single path you can just assume easier well, you're okay right. have a good time <laughs> I don't think this would well, work. Right okay. uh, he didn't block us off. No, uh, mm. oh, really. Oh, Splendid job. Okay, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. You've done quite well. How delightful. And so our brave travelers continue on through this dusty wasteland until they meet Arno, the almost omnivorous. One very hungry pizza troll. It doesn't look like too much of a wasteland. Fleens? You're not fleens. What's a fleen? Huh. Whatever you are, make me a pizza. Why? Why do we make you a pizza, Mr. Pizza Troll that looks like a tree trunk? Uh, all right. So in this game, you have to make him a pizza. Easy peasy. More toppings! And that's the catch with this game. He doesn't want just any pizza. He wants the perfect pizza. And I screwed that up. Been there, seen that, still don't like it. So, just like everything else, he's going to give us multiple tries. But what he does, instead of letting everyone fail at once, he's going to punch individual Zumbinis. So, it's not so much if everyone fails now, it's just that one individual Zumbini gets kicked back. So, we don't know what topping he likes. We really don't. 
it could be all of them, or it could be none of them. But that's a part of the educational challenge. It's more or less just critical thinking. So what I could do is do half the toppings, and if he says he doesn't like anything, then no, uh, I can narrow it down that search. Something on that I don't, I don't like. like. It's everything, isn't it? Alright, so... Let's try that. Something must go! Alright. Let's... Let's just do mushrooms. Do you not like the mushrooms? Uh, I don't like mushrooms either. Something on oh, that, that I don't, don't like. like. I remember that way too. Something on that I don't like. Okay, well, is it just pineapple? Do you just want pineapple and no cheese at all? There's stuff on None that, that I, I don't, don't like. like. <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh, now we're getting into the part where we're, we're going to stop losing Zubinis. So, that's a good evidence of we already screwed up way too much. Do you want like an actual just classic cheesy pizza? More toppings. I'm wondering, would you actually kick him back still? Oh, yeah, we, we lost him. Oops. So, he likes this. Alright, we tried pineapple, we tried mushrooms, um, it's just these two that's left. I never tried pepperoni or meat sausage things by itself, so let's try that. MORE TOPPINGS! Hey, we lost two then. But we succeeded. What's the question mark for? Pizza pass. Feeling stuck? Don't worry, Brave Explorer. You have all the information you need to complete this challenge and get all of your Zabinis through. Take your time, look for patterns, and don't be afraid to make mistakes. If a few of our little blue friends are left behind, they'll be waiting at Zumbini Isle to try again. I did not know there was help the in the game. Perfect pizza! That would help me a long time ago as a kid. He does the same thing that I do. For the small pieces. I wish I knew he was gonna say something so I didn't click pass. I would have let him speak. Oh well. So you see how there's this big green line going through on the map? Hold on! What's this? A campsite with hot soup all ready to eat? Looks like a fine place for Zumbinis to relax. But when they're ready to move on, they'll need a group of 16 along the path. Yeah, we lost two, so... We got 14. We don't... These last two spots in the back are not filled now. So we can't go in, on this path now. So let's take a look at the map. So it says there we got 14. But you do see this big green path. Well, if you look over here, you see not so easy for green. It's easy, but it's not so easy. As you can tell, because I even failed here, even though I played this game before and know what I'm doing. So what this will do is... It will actually go around. It will be purple next, red then yellow. Apparently, yellow for this game is very hard. Even though it should go from green to yellow, then red, then purple. But hey, that's how the makers wanted this game. They wanted purple to be um, the next difficulty up. Yeah, not so easy. Oh, so hard. Very, very hard. Wait, so it's not so easy, then hard, then across, 
then very, very hard. Oh, that's an odd way to do it. So red is the hardest. Oh. Because you can tell by the stars, too. So now we have to go back to the beginning. <sighs> we could get rid of these guys. How do you put them back? Oh, that's how. We can put them back like this. And then just randomize again. Or you could have just hit my mice and kept those two. But yeah. Well. Before we go on to the next stage and redo this beginning stage, let's cut the clip before we sail off. So that we start off fresh off of the new episode of Zoom Meetings. So, see you guys later. Bye.